welcome back to my channel so today I am so excited so so I wasn't expecting to be able to film this yet because this wasn't supposed to be delivered until like the end of this week and then they bumped it up and they're like oh we're gonna deliver it on Tuesday well I work on Tuesday so then I wouldn't have been able to use it until Wednesday and then it would have probably been not till like Saturday or Sunday until I uploaded it. But anyway, I was walking out to the driveway and here comes uh, somebody up my driveway with package. And I was like, oh, what is this? <gasps> Yay! It came today. I'm so excited. <gasps> it's the birdie. So I'm a little, okay. So anyway, I ordered this. I'm so excited. So <laughs> I ordered this on the Sephora app because it was like an exclusive release, like on the Sephora app, but it was the last day for the VIB like rouge sale. So I got to use the coupon for that because they launched it the last day that sale was, they had like that special launch, but I just had to wait longer to get it because of shipping, like high demand and all of that. So it came earlier, but I did, I got money off. Thank you, that is that is always a plus. So anyway, this is $69. This is the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. <gasps> These greens, oh, you guys know me in neutrals and I just gravitate towards greens. Look how pretty that is. <gasps> I don't know if the camera is doing it justice. I'm just gonna move it all around because sometimes you can see things a little differently. <gasps> I am so excited. I am so excited. So I have somewhere that I need to go. So I was like, oh, how perfect. Now I can use this. So, oh gosh, they're so pretty. It's like, um, what's the word? What's the word? Sage. There's like, sage greens not not quite like minty like I wouldn't say these are minty greens but there's some neutrals there's some darker greens there's a little bit of pink in here <gasps> but look just so you guys can see how pretty it is and like I said it's $69 um, so this is one of the smaller size palettes it does have a mirror in it and I always have the worst time trying to get these plastics off so it does have a nice full size mirror. So anyway, um, that is that. This just came out. Um, I'm really hoping, dare I say this? I'm really hoping that I enjoy this a lot more than I enjoyed her dream palette that just came out. Cause I feel like I had a little bit different expectation for it. And then I got it and I was like, mm. but I love Natasha Denona. I love the formulas. I love it. I just, my expectations for the last palette were, were a little different. So I'm hoping, hoping that I love this palette. So I'm super excited. So let me zoom you in because I need to keep on track because I have somewhere I need to go. So I am going to go in with my Morphe E30 brush and I really wanna do like a green look. I really do. So I'm gonna go in with, I'm intrigued to see if this is a little darker than what it looks like in the pan. So I'm gonna go in with this color Lucy. It's like a really pale, pale muted, like not tan. It's like a really pale muted greenish color. I don't know, let's see what it's gonna look like. It might be super light. Oh, okay, all right. So, nope. <laughs> That's a no. So then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go in with this color called Faye. So let me pick that up. You know, and these are, they're soft. So, you know. Pick that up. Just as a nice transition shade. I just wanna see what that color is gonna come off as. Do we have here? So it's like this. Oh, how do I explain that? Oh my goodness. Like, can you guys see that? That is a very interesting color. Like, it's got like a gray tinge to it, but it it pulls more from like a like a greenish, greenish gray maybe, would you call that? A greenish gray? Yeah, maybe. So it's blending out nicely. 
But it's definitely like not, I don't know, now that I can like see it in the mirror and see it myself and look at it, like yeah, I'm seeing it. I just don't feel like I thought that's what it was going to look like on the eye. But it blended out really nice. <gasps> that's so, that's nice. All right, I really, like I said, I wanna do green. So I wanna go in with, um, I think the first color I'm gonna go in with is Marlin, this one over here. And I'm going to pick that up on this Luxie 245 small shader brush because I want to see. I want to see what it does without anything. Come on, you guys know this. So let's see. I'm going to put that right in the center. Oh, she's pretty. Do you guys see how pretty that is? Oh, that is so pretty. Let's see. Let me build it up. A little bit. Let me see what it does with my finger. Oh, it is such a pretty color. Like, look at that. So I'm gonna get my base down and then I'm gonna go back in with that brush. Like, honestly, her colors are so pretty. Like, I don't even feel like I need to wet that, but I'm going to. Just so I can see. And I'm gonna use my Morphe Luminous Setting Spray per usual. Let's see. It's such a pretty green. Oh, I am in love. All right, let's do, I'm going to actually go in with Oz on this outer corner and I'm gonna pick that up on this Morphe. I don't even know, it looks like a, just a little pencil brush. I'm gonna pick that up and I'm gonna come out here That is applying so nicely. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit on my finger. You see that? So, a little bit of fallout, but I, you know, I should know better. Oh, that is so pretty. And I'm gonna go back in with that uh, brush I just used prior to and just kinda blend over top where those two meet. I'm gonna go with this Morphe M421 flat brush and, oh, does this say Palladian? Palladian? Yeah. I'm gonna go with this color on the inner corner and I'm gonna pick that up. Just brush and let's see. Oh, that actually applied so nice with a brush. Oh, that's so icy. <laughs> that is such a pretty color. Oh, that is so pretty. I hope the camera is doing this justice because sometimes I feel like it does not. Like it is so hard to like truly depict those colors. So I'm gonna pick a little bit more of that up. Wow, that went on so nice with a brush. Like, I don't think you guys understand. Like, I've said it before. I do not like applying shadows with with my um, finger. You know, I'll do it if I have to, but 
I get excited when it goes on nicely with a brush and that went on so nice. So I just picked some up, I got it wet with that luminous spray and I'm just gonna pat over top. Wow, <gasps> look how pretty that is, oh my gosh. Okay, let me pick up, I'm going back in with that Marlin and I'm just gonna dab that over where those two colors meet up. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that Palladian. I'm just gonna dab that again. Let's get a nice blend. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, like I know this is a the retro glam. Like she came out with like this mini retro and then she supposedly meshed that with like her glam palette or whatever. But this is really giving me like Christmassy, like winter wonderland vibes like with those like pretty like winter greens with like some white over that oh gosh i just oh i get so excited i love christmas <laughs> so oh that is so exciting i'm gonna go in with the, i've been dying for these greens like i have been so excited so i'm going in with this sage color i feel like it's gonna be um i feel like it's gonna be deep so I'm gonna pick that up. I don't even know what this is. It's just a little Morphe flat brush. I don't even know. It is, oh, that is as pretty as I was imagining. Oh my goodness. I am not biased or anything. Oh my gosh. pretty that is I do not think the camera is doing this justice at all this is it's called sage uh, you know rightfully so this is such a pretty sage green color like it is so pretty on the eye oh my gosh I am so excited I am so 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 excited I'm just gonna take this brush it's clean I don't even know what this is what is this um, this BH Cosmetics number eight brush, and I'm just gonna lightly go over that color just to soften the edge of it a little bit, like that. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? And of course, I'm gonna go in with Flutter in the inner corner. Yes, I am. Let's do. I'm just gonna pick one on that. And I'm gonna pick that up on this Luxie Mini Flat Angled Brush, uh, Luxie 111. Again, these were like a holiday, I, you know, I was gonna say a holiday thing. I don't know, I got these in like a Ipsy bag or a Boxy Charm box or one of those and I love them so much I went on to try to find them and I think I ended up paying $10 to get another set of these little tiny detail brushes. From Luxie. I think I got them from like Nordstrom Rack or Nordstrom or I don't know. But let's see. A little bit, so hold on. Oh, it's in there. It wants to be beautiful. Hold on, let me. Let me try to pick some of that up. See, that's why I don't like to stick my fingers because my fingers are do not have tiny fingers. I'm gonna get that wet on the brush and see if I can get a little more coverage in there. Oh, that's it. Oh, look how pretty that is. <laughs> and I'm trying to be quiet because my husband's trying to get the little one down for a nap so I can um, do this video and like finish getting ready before we leave this evening. <gasps> it is so fucking pretty. Oh my gosh. You just have, I don't even know, like, you know, you just know there's some things that do it for you and there's some things that just don't. And this, this is totally do it. This is it for me. I am so excited. I'm gonna go back in with that palladian color and just kind of get rid right up in this crease just to make the shape of that seamless. Oh, that is so pretty. 
Okay, so I think I'm actually gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna pop off, I'm gonna do my other arm, I'm gonna get dressed, I'm gonna finish what I gotta do with myself. I'm gonna do something with this hair and then I will be right back. Okay, so here is the finished look. I just went ahead and, you know, obviously did my other eye. I um, lined my lower waterline with that Makeup Forever Artistry pencil in, what is it, Boundless Bisque, I'm pretty sure. And then I just used the black eyeliner, probably my Essence one, I'm pretty sure it was the Essence one. Um, and did a winged liner for the top. And then I went ahead and popped on these ColourPop lashes. They're from that Faux Minx, um, you know, I've shown it before. It's just a pair out of there. I love them, they're so light and wispy. But again, here is the finished look. I'm so excited. Oh, my nose, my nose is uh, quite bright right there. <laughs> Let me go ahead and zoom you out. Okay, so I am in love. Like I said, I think, you know, it has to be, it really has to be something that speaks to you and this palette is speaking to me. It might not be speaking to you, but it is to me. I'm in love with the greens. It reminds me of like a, like a winter green, you know, like when you think of winter green, that's what it, that's what these colors, these greens feel like to me. And I think it's just, I'm excited about Christmas and all of that. And I love green, like green is my favorite color. I'm loving the way these greens went on. Um, nothing is patchy, everything blended out. Um, you know, this color right here, like, it's a really light, pale color. It's just not going to work for my skin tone because, hey, it's kind of close to my skin tone. So, <laughs> that's just that. I mean, you know, it is what it is. I really don't have too much else to say about that. Um, I'm excited to get in here and use, you know, the pinks. Again, I focused on the greens and I didn't get into this evergreen. I almost used a flat liner brush and then was going to uh, line the lower lash line. And I was like, ah, I'm not going to do it this time. So I used the majority of the other greens except... Yeah, I had to look at that for a second. Except the evergreen and the fringe. Like, I didn't use those two. I love it. But again, it's... It's just me. I just love it. I love these greens and I can't wait to get in and use these pinks and see how they, what's the word? I was going to say how they perform and then I was like, that sounds very <laughs> ridiculous. I don't know. Just to see how they, they do with each other. Yeah, how they perform. I don't know. I'm so frazzled right now because like I'm getting ready to leave. We got to take the kids out and I'm like, blah, 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 blah. and I'm so excited that this came so early. So I apologize. I know sometimes I get on here and I'm like climbing on the ceiling. You guys are like, bring it back down to earth. I shouldn't be rushing and I don't mean to be rushing. It's just between me being excited and me having to be on a little bit of a time crunch to get out of the house because I got to get the two kids ready. But I really wanted to sit down and film and I really wanted to use this palette today because I was so excited it came early. So I do apologize for that. It's just me and my excitement. I love the palette. I recommend the palette. I got the palette on sale. So, you know, that's a factor for me. When I got it on sale, I'm super excited about it. I love Natasha Denona. Again, if you haven't gone down this road, you might want to just save yourself because I feel like I'm constantly just throwing my money at the palettes that Natasha Denona puts out. And if that's not something you want to do, if it's not something you can afford, I'm pretty sure there are probably some comparable green shadows. I'm trying to think that BH Cosmetics one, their Nude Ego collection that just came out, there is a green um, shadow palette. And I do recall that I really enjoyed that one. So that might be something that's comparable to this if you can't afford this. Do not feel like you have to go out and buy this if you do not have the money to spend on it. Mm -mm, don't do it. Just do not do it. It's not worth it, okay? Keep yourself in a financially good position. If you have the extra money and you're like, hey, I want to splurge on something for myself and you love greens, then yeah, go ahead and treat yourself, okay? Treat yourself. But if you don't have it, it's not necessary. You don't need to do it. Because I feel like too many times I got stuck in that rut. And it was like, everybody was like, oh my gosh, you need this palette. And I'd be like, oh, do I? And I would like buy into it. And before I knew it, I was like, I am buying so much stuff. And like, I don't have the money to be doing this right now. And it, it's a bad road to go down. So don't go down it. Me, I could afford it. I got it on sale. I'm super excited about it. It came early. I love it. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Because my husband is waiting on me. So... <laughs> So I appreciate you guys watching and I hope that this helped you decide if you want to get it, if you don't want to get it or what have you. I just hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, 
yeah and as always i appreciate you guys thank you for watching and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day or evening or whenever you're watching this bye